Is he, is Dana said the that their best football is yet to be played on all three sides of the ball. Is that more true for the offense and stuff then? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, we're still working out little things and still finding things about ourselves each game. And, you know, uh, you're, you're always just going to continue to get better. And I think we have the mindset that, you know, to keep pushing forward. And I, th I think that's true with us. A lot has been made about the second halves. Is there any common denominator there that you see? You know, I went and watched um, watched it again. Um, it was, you know, we were just we were just trying to play around with some things. I'm, I'm not, after watching it, I'm more comfortable with it. Um, it's never as bad as it you know, feels or never good as it feels. But, uh, you know, I'm more comfortable with it now after watching it. Um, I'm not too concerned with it. Clint, obviously one of the storylines this week is going back to Lubbock and with the wind potentially in Lubbock. Do you think any of that or are you not even concerned? Well, I wasn't here um, last time I went. Um, yeah, I've heard about it, um, so it'll be interesting to see. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's, you know, just control what you can control and you know, play your best. So I, I, Nothing really I can say about it. When you're back there as a passer, though, how much does the win or how much can it affect what you're able to do, what you can't do during a game? It can on certain throws. Um, I guess it just depends on, you know, I, that throw at that moment. You know, there's so many variables that can go into it from not only the distance of the throw or the angle, but then what the defense is doing, and you can't do it, put it up there that long, or else, you know, there's so many variables that goes into it that, you know, it's just you got to go out there and play. You can't really think about it. You just got to go out there. Running backs change. You said you heard about the idea. Everyone, everyone who's yeah, just inside the uh, No, just people. That's, you know, I've, I've heard that in college football. You know, playing there, it's very hard to stay in the desert. Wind goes through there. That's part of it. Do the guys around here talk about it? Not really. No, it's not really a mindset. Not, I, some, I mean, we weather does. We can't control it. We just control it. So. Going back to the second half against Kansas, how much you're going to divulge here? But are these, these plays that you guys hadn't ran before, and you just no, uh, we're, I'm, I'm not. We're, we're just we're just trying to get you know trick cute with some things, and we had a lead, and that's a good thing that we can do that. Just trying to get people the ball uh, more, and you know that's going to we know that's going to happen throughout the game, but we tried to force it a little bit, and that got in my head, and um, you know we just. You know, like we we won, so it's not. A, or yeah. numbers game. You think the teams maybe when they first see your offense, they're back on their heels a little bit, but then at, at halftime they can regroup and they make adjustments. It just seems like the second half it's not as potent as it was in the first half. Well, I wouldn't say that for all our games. I think we've done pretty good on the other ones. That you, Oklahoma, yeah, and then this one, you know, I said it numerous times what happened. Um, so I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay. Cliff, do you care the frustrations uh, in a game like Kansas where you ended up with four field goals and you'd like to score more touchdowns? Do you carry that forward or do you just put that away and go on to the next game? You know, the game? field goals at the beginning really didn't, weren't frustrating me that much because I kind of hadn't, I knew what was going on and we had an idea that it was going to be a weird game and it was going to, things like big plays are going to happen and then they're going to stop you and luckily we got big plays and we were in field goal range so we were able to get points and we weren't stopped before we could get in there. Um, so we knew stuff like that was going to happen. Um, obviously, you want touchdowns, but I, I wasn't, you know, where we scored on every drive when we were getting down there in the first half, and um, that's always a positive. Obviously, you want touchdowns, but, um, you know, I, I wasn't too, during the game, wasn't too concerned with it. You didn't have as much success throwing down the field in that game as you had in the previous games. Did you figure out what that was and, and what, how you are going to approach it? Well, I played terrible on you know my D balls were not very good um, plus 24 is one of the better corners in the country um, uh, Shepard uh, he's We've watched film on him before. No one's completely deep ball on him. I asked him after the game. I said, "Has anyone ever completely deep ball on you?" He said, "I've had two on my whole career." So, you know, uh, you know, that made me feel a little bit better. But still, I wanted to be one of them. I wanted to be number three. But uh, you know, he's a good corner. I don't know why he's not as recognized as he should be because he, he's definitely a sleeper. But um, also, I played too. So I, I put that on me. I played. I didn't put it out there for Mario. He's a fast kid. I should Put it out there a little more, um, but uh, you know, other, other than that, I thought we played all right. Though. So, uh, the offensive line played great. Obviously, we wa re watched that, you know, couldn't be more proud of them. Cody Clay, I know coach has said it a bunch of times, but he really did play phenomenal.
Ken Russell had over 100 yards rushing. What have you seen from him as he's continued to, to come along here? Russ, you know, he just he improves with carries. The more carries he gets, the better he gets throughout the game. Um, you know, like he's just a little pit bull. He, just, he doesn't stop. He keeps going. He gets better with uh, with carries and. Um, I think he's getting better as the season goes along. So that's 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 definitely a bonus.